So I feel like I make this video about once a year, but I feel a an obligation to make it about that often because I think it's very important for me to do so. And the thing is, is that I don't want to have to make the video, but it does feel like something that comes up so often that I kind of need to reiterate it and make a fresh version so people can see this and hear the advice for themselves because it's very, very important. In fact, I would say that it's one of the most important pieces of advice that we could give a new Linux user or even any Linux user. And that advice is there is no best Linux distro. Now, I've, again, made this video several times in the past. I've talked about it on the podcast, but I've been scrolling through Reddit looking for video ideas. And one of the subreddits that I tend to frequent when I do that is a subreddit called Linux Questions. And just scrolling back through that subreddit over the course of the last 12 hours worth of content, at least five times someone asked, what distro should I use? And this is a stupid question. Now, I know that there's no such thing as a stupid question, but this is a question that has no answer, okay? And if you go into the threads of those questions, some people get it, right? You'll see some people saying, we can't really answer that question, or we need more information, like what kind of hardware you're using, things like that. Then, of course, you'll have the traditional Reddit user who will actually answer the question with Arch or OpenSUSE or Gentoo or whatever distro they're using that's best for them. And that's not a helpful answer either, because again, there's no best distro that is a distro that can be recommended to everyone. It just doesn't exist. You you can make generalizations, say, yeah, okay, uh, maybe Linux Mint is the distro that's best for the vast majority of new users, or maybe Ubuntu, or maybe Fedora, or whatever. You can say that, but it's not always going to be true, and it's actually harmful to those who take you literally. Like, they'll consider that you're telling them the truth if you tell them that Ubuntu is the best distro. They'll take that as gospel, maybe, and realize, you know, then, you know, once they figure out that maybe Ubuntu is not really for them, they'll say, well, if this is the best one, what do the others go have to offer me, right? Maybe I just better go back to Windows. The problem here lies in that simple fact that I stated early, that there's no best distro. The real question is, what is the best distro for you? And the answer to that question is that we have no idea. We can't answer that question. And anybody on Reddit or Twitter or whatever the hell they call it these days, or Mastodon or Discord, who answers that question when you ask it and actually gives you an actual answer is either lying to you or is unsufferably biased. Now, as someone who's also incredibly biased when it comes to distros, I'll show you my sticker again if you can bear with the microphone noises and I don't actually, you know, ruin the microphone stand. I, I am biased. I will say that... And despite the fact that I have, in fact, done this, but I've always done it in a joking tone, I will say that anyone who does that is just misleading you because they are biased. They, they don't have necessarily... I'm not saying I say they don't have your best interests at heart, but because there's no real answer, what they're doing is they're imposing what's best for them onto you. And because you are not them weird, right? Because you're not the same people, we're all special snowflakes, th their recommendation may not suit you well. Because you have different hardware, you have different expectations going into what you need a Linux distro to do, how you need it to work. Maybe you want more up-to-date packages than what their distros offer. Maybe you don't. You know, maybe you want something more stable like Debian or Ubuntu or Linux Mint or something like that, and they recommended Gentoo or Linux from scratch. That's the point, is that there's no answer to this question. And when someone gives you an answer to the question of what's the best distro or what distro should I use, that can cause some issues if you don't know any better. And I'm not... I, I, it does come across as condescending when you say that new users don't know any better because it makes you feel like you think that they're stupid, and that's not the case at all. It's just that they don't know any better because they're new. When, when you enter a building for the first time, the first thing you do is look for directions. But unlike in that situation where there's a set map of diagram or whatever on where you need to go, when it comes to Linux distro, there's no set direction or what you need to do or what distro is the best for you. That just doesn't exist because you are special. You have a special setup of hardware. You have special needs in terms of, of software and software availability. And because those qualifications are expressly specific to you, the answer to the question is never going to be something that anyone else can answer. 
So whenever I make this type of video and I have to reiterate this point again because I keep seeing these questions, the thing that I really need to do is rephrase the question. First off, know if you're going to ask this question that what you're really looking for is advice, okay? You're not looking for a definitive answer. And I think that a lot of the people who do this know that you're supposed to just be looking for advice that there's not a definitive answer, but some people don't. Also, just know that the best solution, the best way to answer the question for you is to try every distro. Go out there, install Fedora, install Ubuntu, install Linux Mint, install OpenSUSE, install Arch, uh, install Gentoo if you feel up to it. If you're really ambitious, install Linux from scratch. Don't do that. Don't actually don't do that. <laughs> but the point is, is that the best way to know what distro is best for you is to try all the distros in every flavor that they have. Yes, it's time consuming. Yes, it's tedious having to set up your setup every time unless you're a nerd who likes to do that type of thing, which is, you know, me. I love to set up a new distro. It's it's fantastic, right? It's a, it's a, a little bit of a rush, but most people aren't like that. They don't want to have to go through that every single time. So it does seem like a, a, a task to actually have to do that, but it's still the best and only answer to the question of what distro is best. And, the, and that is just to try them. That's the only way you'll know. And the problem here with the Linux community in this question in, in particular is that we all have our answers, right? If, if I were to answer this and didn't know any better or, or had malicious intent or just was answering the question on the side of giving advice, my answer would be OpenSUSE. For me, OpenSUSE is the best distro. But I can say that to everyone, and I do say that to everyone, but I know, and everyone who talks to me really knows that I know <laughs> that it's not actually the best distro. There is no best distro. OpenSUSE is not it, Arch isn't it, Gen 2 is not it, Ubuntu is not it, Fedora is not it. There's it, None of those are the best distro because the best distro doesn't exist. OpenSUSE is the best distro for me. And even when I s tell people that OpenSUSE is the best distro, I'm either trolling them, which is admittedly the vast majority of time, and usually I try to avoid trolling the people I don't know, so I, I, I try to do that. But also... I, I, if I'm talking to someone who I don't know and is actually looking for legitimate advice, I will tell them OpenSUSE has personally worked very well for me, but it might be different for you. If you have different hardware requirements, if you want to use a different desktop environment, if you want a different setup in terms of when you get your software, what software you need, things like that. It's important. All those things go into choosing the distro that's right for you. And the fact, the matter is, OpenSUSE is best for me, but it's not the best for the vast majority of other people. Otherwise, everyone would be using OpenSUSE. Uh, same thing with anything else. Like if someone answered that Ubuntu was the best distro, I'd say, well, yeah, well, then why doesn't everybody use it? Or if Fedora, they, they answered Fedora, why doesn't everybody use Fedora? You name the distro. The reason why everyone doesn't use that distro is because it's not actually the best distro. It's just the best distro for the people who choose to use it. And that's the bottom line. Now, again, I make this video once a year, or thereabout. Uh, I've made it at least three times, and every time it basically comes off as the same. But I do, again, like I said at the beginning, think that it's very, very important for people to know this. Even those of us who have been in the Linux community for a very long time, from both perspectives, this is important to pe for people to know. If you're a brand new user, know that this question, when you ask it, seems silly. And also, know that when you ask it, what you really should be seeking is advice, not a def definitive answer. But from the other perspective, those of us who think we have the answer, we also need to know that we don't have the answer, because there is no answer, you know? There's no best distro, so when we go in there and answer the, the question, what we're really doing is misleading people, because we're not being honest with them. Now, that's not everybody. I don't want to generalize. If you go into the threads of the, the questions that I've pointed out, you'll see that some people actually do get this. Like there's some people say, well, you know, we can't really answer this question because, you know, you, you really need to try them or this one here is the best for me. Some people are very specific about saying that their answer only qualifies to them. And that's a good thing. That's the way that it should be done. But overall, this question gets asked five or six times a day on Reddit, on Discord, right? And because it keeps getting asked, asked, people eventually just tell them a distro, and that can lead to a problem. So, if you are a brand new user, know that there is no best distro. There's not, okay? The best way to find out what best distro is for you is to try all the distros. If you find one that's really good, stick with it, or don't. 
Just keep it in mind. Go try out the other distros, and if it's still the best distro when you've done your circling of distro hopping, go back to the one that worked the best. There you go. That's how you choose. For the rest of us, stop answering the question with definitive answers because there is what there aren't any definitive answers when it comes to this question so there you go that's the end of this one if you have any thoughts on this whole thing you can leave those in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you you can follow me on mastodon or odyssey those links will be in the video description you can support me on patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast you can also support me on youtube and Kofi. those links will be in the video description as well i truly do appreciate everybody who does support me all of these fine people thanks to every one of you you guys are all absolutely amazing without you the challenge would not be anywhere near where it is right now so thank you so very very much for your support i truly do appreciate it i know i say that at every, the end of every video but i truly do mean it so thank you so very much if you too would like to support me again patreon youtube and Kofi, those links will be in the video description or you can head over to the shop which is available at shop.thelinuxcast.org there you'll find all sorts of awesome merchandise that goes directly towards helping me make more linux content for you guys so you I get the proceeds. You guys get awesome merch. Win, win, win. Shop at the list cast, shop at the And I've been talking for too long now, so I need to shut up. And that's the end of this one. Thank you so very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.